right, so why don't you welcome the crowd, if there is one. All right. Hello, everybody. This is Sal Rodriguez and Jason Connell. Let's Talk Cobra Kai hosts here live and in person. And uh, I had to change my background already from one, uh, one podcast to the next. I had to do, do a little update. We're we'll see. It's going gonna, gonna to be a work in progress, actually. It looks good. It looks good. And those who don't know, Sal has an official new studio in the West yeah. Coast. I have a beautiful new studio. I have a Mac now. I'm, I've been PC forever. Now I'm team Mac. And you know what? A whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. Okay. All right. So, uh, so that's great. And I'm actually on the East Coast. Hell. So just curious media covers the entire U.S. coast yes. to coast. We are nationwide. Yes, we are. More about that later. So we're going to jump in and do our usual intro and just get things moving. Here we go. Welcome to Just Curious Media. This is Let's Talk Cobra Kai. I'm Jason Connell. And I'm Sal Rodriguez. All right, Sal. We are back for a very fun and unique episode. Oh, yeah. I dug into some stuff today that's really cool and very interesting about the uh, person in question. Good. As did I. As did I. I did my homework. And the episode today we are covering is entitled Daniel LaRusso's First Friend, Freddie Fernandez. Now, first friend meaning first to California. Coming for you. So, yes. Three, yes. four, better lock your door. Five, six, get a crucifix. Oh, yes. That's Freddy Krueger, a different Freddy altogether. <laughs> So, no, Freddie Fernandez befriended Daniel LaRusso before he even stepped foot in his new apartment in the South Seas and Reseda, California. So why don't you give us that backstory, that sequence, how that went down, Sal? Yeah, sort of a dramatic entrance by Freddie Fernandez. Yeah. Because as soon as Daniel and his mother make their way from New Jersey through Sedona... Yes, yes. And then they wind up in Reseda at the South Seas apartment and they're unloading. And in this moment, Daniel is unloading his bicycle, yep. taking his bicycle into the apartment and then delivers. A, what would that be a straight a straight kick, a front kick, a front, kick, kick? Yeah. A front yeah. kick to the to the door, to the yeah. main entrance gate. And then Freddie is on the other side and yeah. he gets knocked by the opening door. Or gate, whatever you want it's to call it. It's a big wooden door. You couldn't see through it. Yes. Now yes. I've been there since then, and you have too. That's a yeah. see-through gate. There's none of that business. No. After Freddie got hurt, everything changed. Miyagi <laughs> had to kind of put a different door on. But yeah, um, he does take a hit, and that begins kind of a cute meet, like yeah. you see in old school movies. Yeah, it looks innocent enough. Uh, we get a feeling that hey, Freddie seems like a a cool friend, a a, a good neighbor, maybe. Yeah. And you know, he's about. Uh, Daniel's age. They're about the same age. Hey, maybe uh, Lucille can be friends with Freddie's mother or Freddie's parents. You know, yeah. th this could be a very good thing. You know, obviously, if you move into a new place, you want to at least be friendly with the neighbors. And uh, that's what we're seeing. We're seeing this kid who is befriending Daniel and everything seems fine so far. Now, let's pause that and let's give some backstory on the actor who is portraying Freddie Fernandez. Yes, that is Israel Warby. Yes. Israel Warby. Now I looked at his credentials because I always wondered what happened to him. And now that yes. we've been doing this deep dive into the karate kid since Cobra Kai, and we're doing all things Cobra Kai and karate kid. I was watching a movie about a year ago. I was just revisiting the movie about a year ago. And I swear yeah. I saw him. I was like, pause, sent you a screenshot even said, look, that's yeah. Freddie. Yeah, yeah. And then, so here are some of his filmography, if you will. I'm going to rattle them off. This is not going to be the episode where we break down Robert Mark Kamen's yeah. filmography, which I highly recommend checking that episode out. He's incredible, prolific. You'll never even imagine what he has his hands in besides the Karate Kid franchise. But here's Israel's kind of background, TV, movie, and it all happened in a short span of time. So here we go. Cagney and Lacey, he played Nunzio. Did he work with Martin Cove? Yes, that that's episode? what I was thinking. That was in 82. Then nice. Remington Steele. He played wow. Daryl in one episode in 83. Hill Street Blues. He played Paco and Diablo Kid in two different episodes, 1984. Give Me a Break. 
He played the center. I guess it was a basketball sequence. Wow. 84, one episode. Then the Karate Kid, Freddie, 1984. Beverly Hills Cop, room service waiter, also in 84. Wow. Night Court, he played a teen in 85, one episode. Chopper John MD, he played yes. Jesus in 84 and 80, no, sorry, 85, 86 two episodes. So reprised his role there. Silver Spoons. He played a heckler. 87, one episode. The movie Overboard. Great movie, Kurt Russell. If you remember at Goldie Hawn, uh, he played at the, on the yacht. She owned a yacht in the movie and he was an engine room crewman in 87. Then the movie I saw him in most recently, again, Indecent Proposal. Great film. He's at the citizen. He's a citizenship student. And Demi Moore is their teacher. That was 93. Angels in the Outfield. He played Jose Martinez in 94. And then The Net. He was a thief in 95. I mean, those are great credentials for anybody. This guy was killing it. You could do a six degrees of Israel Israel Warbe, and you could be one degree from almost anybody in Hollywood. I love that. This guy has some really cool credits. I, I hope he's proud of them. I'd be very proud of my credits if those were mine. You know what's missing? Yeah. Cobra Kai. Yes. But we'll okay. get to that. We'll get to yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see who's coming up in season four. I mean, geez, if <laughs> Mike Barnes, Freddie Fernandez. Hey, why not? So what did you find out today before we jump in as I revisited Freddie's scenes in the movie to see how strong this friendship was with Daniel LaRusso? Well, I don't know if this is a spoiler for what you're going to say, but uh, I saw this very interesting video where a YouTuber... Uh, This guy, I I forget his name. I'm sorry, but he made this video analyzing every scene with Freddie. Oh, no. Wait, wait, was it mine? No. Okay, listen, do you do you know that that there's another video that talks about how Daniel is the real villain of the karate? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that kind of blew up and and, and went viral. So this guy makes a video about how. Freddie set up Daniel. (laughs) Freddie set up Daniel to yeah. fight Johnny Lawrence on the beach. And if you do a play by play, yeah, it kind of makes sense. You could take that. That's extreme. I cover the facts. Al. You know that <laughs> you're not, <laughs> I, you're not a conspiracy. I'm theory. not trying to make no, none of that, but I just, I'm stating the obvious and what was really going on with, you know, behind the scenes. That's all I want to get into. I have no theory other than this is pretty comical that we've, no one that I know ever has ever explored this before, except for this YouTuber that you spoke. Yeah, about. yes, yes. So, all right, I'm ready to jump in. Anything else you want to add before we do so? Uh, well, we'll see if, as we go along, if, if this actually will elaborate yeah. on the conspiracy or yeah. put to rest the conspiracy. Yeah, who knows? So we have this encounter where they meet at South Seas and immediately Freddie is welcoming to Daniel, yeah, you know, sure. and he's apartment 17. He's telling Daniel, oh, you're up in apartment 20. He's already seen his mother go in, mm-hmm. you know, and carry some stuff up. So yeah. Freddie is all about South Seas. He's, mm-hmm. you know, head on a swivel. He's not missing sure. anything going on. In yeah, there. yeah, yeah. He's also got a nice fashion sense, Sal. Yes. He's yes. Got the, it, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, yes. And right now, Israel is, as we speak, probably out there signing a Macon Bacon T-shirt. He's got the Macon Bacon <laughs> T-shirt, the cartoon pig. Yeah. You go back and see it. It's like, yeah, there were those types of shirts. I saw oh, yeah. myself in a photo from the 80s that literally said, who's that turkey? And it's like pointing whoever's standing next to you. I was nice. wearing that shirt around with a big turkey on it. So yeah, you know, somehow these making bacon shirts find their way into your wardrobe as a kid, although he's kind of a teen here, but um, no, but I wore similar shirts when I was in high school. And, and yeah. when I was in high school it was late eighties, early nineties. Yeah. Um, the thing of it is though, if you wore that making bacon shirt today to what <laughs> you would literally make the news, I think you, you would literally you would. make the, the news, a student wears inappropriate shirt to school and we'd have the parents rights groups and the teachers fighting and it would be so a big true. thing. So true. So immediately though, Freddie spots Daniel's karate skills. Cause he just took one off the head off the door. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. he goes on to say, that's, he can really kick some arse. Well, different word, but he immediately <laughs> knows like, yeah, Daniel's got some skills. I bet you he can handle his own out there. 
I don't know where that's going, but he's no, but hang on. But there, but there you go. Not back to your conspiracy. I don't want to keep going back to that constantly, but I think he's just trying to make fast friends. That's who Freddie is. There's a newbie. I'm on him. Hey, do you want to come to a beach party? What are you doing Mm -hmm. tomorrow? Let's go. Like, yeah, so you're, you're, you, you, you have no reason to mistrust Freddie at this no, moment. No, no. I think this is who he is. You've met people like this in your life, Sal, I'm sure. sure. Well, like, yeah, but let me tell you something. So, yes, I have met people like this. Please. And I have warned people about people like this, particularly years ago when I would give dating advice. Yes, it's true. And uh, uh, girls would say to me, hey, this guy's doing this and this. And I would say, beware of people that come on strong. Yeah. The stronger somebody comes on, look out. And in, in this case, this could be the prime example of something like that. Even if he doesn't have an ulterior ulterior motive, I believe that it's just, it just feels wrong, right? But Daniel's very innocent and new. He's not going to be taken advantage of. He's got this New Jersey, you know, he'll stand up for himself, yes, gusto yes. type of personality, hot-headed his, himself. But, you know, he's trusting. And I think that Freddie means well, but guys like this, they might acquire Finn's very, acquire friends very quickly and they may lose friends very quickly. Yeah. 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 There you go. Uh, uh, the, the analogy, the analogy is a shooting star. Yeah, there you shooting go. star is big. It's fantastic. And then gone out of there. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> you know, the only difference is, is the physical intimacy, but otherwise, yeah, these you, they come on strong. It explodes. It's big. And then rrr, gone. It's dead. And what happened to that person? Yep. So now we're at the beach, the party in which Freddie invites Daniel to, yes. and we're playing soccer. Mm-hmm. And Freddie again, showing Which you up. love. I know Fashion. you love the soccer. Oh, I'm going to get to my soccer. Yeah. <laughs> but he's got another wild, not wild, but uh, a statement shirt on. And what okay. is I, I, didn't, I didn't notice that one. I didn't notice that one. Normal, but no A. N O R M L with like one of the letters is kind of looping around. Wait, N O R M L? Yeah. That's the uh, uh, National Organization for the Reform, Reform of Marijuana Laws. Normal. No. Yes. This yeah, guy's progressive. Normal. I didn't, I did not, I would not, ah, I, I should have noticed that because yeah, oh, normal, you don't hear wow. about normal much anymore because get, I, never, I don't happened. even know what it is. Wow. Look what happened. Marijuana is, is become legal everywhere. But once upon a time, you had the national organization for the reform of marijuana laws. Yes. That's what that is. I'm crazy. If the staff even knew what he was wearing. Ah, oh, that's so crazy that I didn't notice that. Israel snuck uh, one by or I got to hand it to him. Someone from the, you know, costume and props or wardrobe just said, hey, put this on. Very interesting. Yeah. Now, well, if he would have worn that to school, he yeah. might have gotten in trouble because let me tell you something. I wore a zigzag shirt to middle school once. Yeah, it was like yeah. an old hand me down from my older siblings. Oh, it was a big thing. I got taken into the office. They made me turn it inside out, the whole thing. Uh, but yeah, wearing a zigzag shirt in the, uh, what was that? The uh, mid 80s. And uh, here's this guy wearing a normal shirt in the mid 80s. Very interesting. Freddie, props and shout out. Got to hand it to you. Yeah. One time I wore a Spuds McKenzie shirt in high school in the late 80s, early 90s. And they made me turn that inside out because it was wow. Budweiser. Yes, right. yes. For, it's for all the, about spuds and it had oh, the no, no, no. no, you know, I got to say this just for the benefit of, of, of the youngsters or the or the newbies. Uh, spuds McKenzie was the original uh, Budweiser uh, icon mascot. Yeah. You would recognize him as the target dog today. So the dog that is the target dogs for target stores. Yeah, that, that is an English bull terrier dog. The same as Spuds McKenzie was. I love Spuds McKenzie. Big fan. Yeah. So. Back to soccer. Yes, Sal. Freddie and I, with our equal shared love of soccer, would have made fast friends. Yeah. 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 Kicking a soccer ball around. Uh, every now and again, I go for a walk at the park mm-hmm. and I just kick a soccer ball in front of me just, just for the fun of it. Yeah, just and kick. you know what? Yeah, I get a lot of attention. People are always looking, looking, <laughs> looking back. at well, What's this guy doing? And I, I'm just on this trail kicking a soccer ball. So it's a lot of fun. Kicking a soccer ball. Uh, really big time fun, fun factor. Ton of fun. Well, Freddie loves it. And so does Daniel for that matter. Well, this leads into, of course, we know they're playing soccer, not a lot of dialogue here. They're having a good time, you know, Allie's kind of with her friends and we're starting to get that build up. but yep. now it's nightfall and the cookout is going on. They're making hot dogs. And there's this little exchange, probably the most dialogue that Freddie and Daniel have ever. And it's right here. And just for the sake of indulging Sal, why don't you give us a play by play? All right. Uh, Freddie says, I think the blonde is looking at you. Daniel says, oh, yeah, right. Freddie says, I'm serious. I think she has the hots for you, man. 
Daniel says, oh, you could blame her, right, Freddie? Freddie says, oh, yeah, then why don't you make a move? Daniel says, nah, I'm eating, man. Freddie says, how could you think about eating, man? Go make a move. Daniel says, I'm hungry. And Freddie's other friend says, maybe they ain't got no moves where he comes from. Oh, these wisecracking sidekicks. Daniel says, no, I got moves where I come from. Yeah, yeah, we got more moves there than here. I'll tell you that much. And Freddie says, oh, yeah, yeah, huh? <laughs> Great exchange. But this leads to Freddie kicking the soccer ball towards Allie because on that, yeah, yeah, he's like, oh, okay, we'll see. Yeah. And Sal, this puts the Karate Kid franchise into motion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it, I would say it's an infamous moment with it's that, that soccer ball rolling over there. It's like the ripple effect. And that yeah. ball rolls up on her own, mm. you know, pit with her friends, and they all know it's intended for Allie. Like the mm. girl, other girls give her the ball. Yeah, that just everything just changes right there. Mm -hmm. right there choose your own adventure and this is what happens i don't think it's conspiracy it's just freddie's a device he's the friend you know they're making good friendship here yeah they've only known each other for just over 24 hours they've uh helped him move in he's invited him to malibu have mm -hmm. a cookout play some soccer meet other friends i mean listen yeah. you're new to a place you're going sure. cross country and i know i've done this before um you know you don't know anybody most times sure. So Freddie is like, well, hey, this is great. And he's also introducing him to this young lady. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're if you're a teenager, you know, it's all about the hormones. You're out there. You're out there looking, you know, who, who's around going to the mall. You know, that was a big thing. So, yeah, going to the beach and, and it being a, a, a teen party on the beach. I don't even know if I went to any teen parties on the beach. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, didn't know Freddie. <laughs> I didn't have any any. No, I didn't know Freddie and didn't know any friends in, in Malibu at all. At, at all. But uh yeah. So, so that's a good time. That's a, it's, it's, it's a real good picture is yeah, what it is. Exactly. You know, quickly, I have to interject here because I meant to say this earlier, but I have it in my notes. You know, had you been a little bit older, yeah. you know, not 84, you were too young, but yeah. had you been a little bit older and cause you began acting in the nineties. Sure. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Popping yeah. up on all these hit shows, kind of like Freddie's resume. Parker loser, mm, yeah. a Parker, yeah, yeah. Parker loser. Uh, what's his name? Parker can't lose. Parker Lewis can't lose. Parker, yeah. Parker Lewis can't lose. Nine hundred two one zero. Yeah, was yeah, you yeah. On, Were you on Melrose? Um, I was on Melrose once or twice. A Wonder Years a lot. Yeah, I so he, I mean, here you are. These are also huge shows, Sal. Well, you know, but, as I tell everybody, I I've had big roles in small productions and small roles, or small yeah. roles and big productions. Yes. Yeah, but had you been the right age, mm -hmm. you easily could have been cast <laughs> as Freddie. <laughs> I'm telling you, Freddie Fernandez, uh, Sal Rodriguez. Dude, you always broadside me. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, you're probably literally right. Uh, if I were in the right place a couple years older, yeah, it could have happened. Sure. Why happened. not? Why not? Yeah. I could be signing making bacon shirts today. <laughs> today. At the cons. You could just do it anyway, so I'll just say that. Freddy, Freddy, <laughs> I could tell Freddy, people Freddy I'm ready. I, I, I say, yeah, man, I'm Israel Warby. They'd be like, really? Okay. Sign yeah, shirt. I'll buy that. Yeah, you were cool, man. All right. So, all right. Back to where we were at. Um, so now cut to the Cobra Kai's and the famous fight with Johnny. All mm. right. So you know how this thing goes. This plays oh, yeah. out poorly for Daniel, yeah. but Freddie does indeed help Daniel up once after yes. getting knocked down like a leg sweep. The second time he tries to help him up, he can't because Daniel's kind of bent over. Yeah. And the third time when Johnny absolutely, absolutely destroys Daniel, Freddie's in disbelief. Yeah. In disbelief. And then his friends come over. Freddie's friends yes, come yes. over to him and they say, you sure pick cool friends. Oh, I'm sorry. You sure pick cool people to be friends with Freddie. And another guy says, where'd you find this guy? <laughs> and the last guy says, come on, let's go. He'll be all right. Come oh. on, let's go. He'll be all right. Now, meanwhile, Sal, how did Daniel get here to Malibu? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we talked about that before. We, oh, yeah. All, this the, is all, the, all the speculation. On our special episode, please visit it, The Karate Kid. But yeah, while yeah. we're here. Yeah, because you know what? Uh, if you're familiar with the San Fernando Valley and the layout as it relates to uh, the Pacific Coast, uh, there's no bus. There was no Uber. No. And you, can't, you, you could ride your bike, but most likely not. This is Sunday night. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't know how he got there, nor do we know how the hell is he going to get home and you leave this guy laying on the beach after having been beaten. And those those guys, yeah. those guys, you know, when I was watching that that video earlier of that conspiracy video, I was looking at Freddie's friends there. Who are those guys? I want to know who those yeah, guys exactly. are. Exactly. That's another deep dive. Yes. But that was their exchange and Freddie is just looking down at Daniel, hasn't said a word. That was his friends talking. Yes. And he just looks this like beyond disappointment. He's just, he can't even believe he's appalled at his new buddy got his butt kicked. And Sal, why? Cause he lost to a jealous, hot headed martial arts, martial arts bully. I mean, what was he supposed to do? I didn't see Freddie and his friends standing up for Daniel. You know, there was plenty of other Cobra Kai's there to get involved. And usually when those things would happen in, you know, middle school, high school, it would escalate beyond the, the main guy, you know, like yeah, some sure. of the residual players would get involved, but sure, sure. they wanted none of that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I just found like, that was it. Like, was he saying, I can't be friends with this guy. This guy can't fight. <laughs> like, well, no, I'm reminded of a, of a similar story. One time I made, I worked at a clothing store in the mall made friends with a couple of guys who worked at the clothing store. We, this was right out of high school. There used to be these 18 and over clubs. That was a lot of fun. They weren't 21 over 18 and over nightclubs. And, and yeah. so we, we'd go there. We went to one. And then afterwards, we're having tacos at this taco stand. There's three of us. And some gangsters come over, some cholos come over. And for some reason, they had it in for me. I don't know why they chose me. I don't know why they hated me. But these guys were coming up, threatening me, intimidating me. And they said to these two guys, are you with this guy? We are at the same table eating tacos together. They say, are you with this guy? And nope. they go, nope, no. And I'm sitting there going, what do you, what do you mean? No, what the hell? Uh, anyway, so I talked myself out of it. Can you believe it? I talked myself out of I it. I do believe it. But guess what? Those guys wanted to hang out with me later. Like, like they wanted to act like nothing happened. Yeah. I was like, I'm never hanging out with Very you Very similar ever. here. Very similar indeed. Although Daniel got himself wrapped up in that mess. But yeah, yeah, yeah. They should at least be there to console him and say, hey, you know, we haven't even finished eating, let alone we're leaving and bailing on you I, or take you home. Now, on that point, Sal, what's Freddie's plan? I'll never see Daniel again. Well, <laughs> yeah. they both live in the South Seas apartment, apartment 17, apartment 20, and they both go to the same school. Well, he really didn't think that went through. Jason, this brings up a whole nother uh, a thought. <laughs> What if Miyagi attempted to uh, give tutelage to Freddie before Daniel ever? Arrived? Oh, we talked about that at one point in time. Yeah, sure. He's there on wow. the property. Sal sees long before Daniel's there. Yeah, sure. he could have been training him, but, uh, you know, but he runs from bullies. So I guess, he yeah, well, because I mean, I think we can definitely assume that Freddie knows Miyagi. Miyagi knows Fred. Yeah, we can assume that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Let me, just leave my, let me just leave my neighbor at the beach, head on out. I'll never see him again. Yeah. Same school, same apartment. Hello. He, he might as well have just said, you're dead to me. <sighs> you know what? I would have respected that more. Right. I would have respected that right. more. <laughs> but that leads us to literally the next day, which is also the first day of school. Yes. And they're on the soccer pitch. Yeah. Here they are, you know, before school or in the middle of gym class or after school. And here's the exchange. And this blows my mind. And it kind of shows you how much heart Daniel has. Daniel says to Freddie and the same guys that made those comments in Malibu, they're on the soccer pitch too. Yeah. Hey guys, Freddie, how you doing? Wow. Hey guys, Freddie, how you doing? Oh my God. He did not work at the mall clothing store, obviously. Like he just was embarrassed, ashamed of what happened. Ah, oh, those guys left me. I was being stupid. I'll try to win them over again. Mm. Blows my mind. Freddie to that says, hey, Karate Kid, let's see the moves. Laugh, laugh. And there it is. Coins the movie. Wow. Wow. Now, I've Freddy, not mentioned that before, but Freddie uh, yeah. does say it. Now, he doesn't say the Karate Kid. So that's yes. unique. But he yeah. does say, hey, Karate Kid. And then one of Freddie's friends says, he knows how to get his butt kicked. Of which Freddie says, I already know that move. Laugh, laugh, and they're out. Wow. Oh. So, yeah. Uh, How about that, Sam? Daniel. Yeah. Yeah. He, got, he has my sympathy uh, at, this, at this time. 
Yeah, not, hey, we're sorry for leaving. We didn't know what to do. We sure. were kind of worried about the Cobra Kai's. We know sure. those guys from high school. They are, yeah. you know, tough they're, dudes. They're, they're, uh, uh, Johnny's a, a martial arts champion. Yeah, and they, and, he, and they have a gang. So we yes. wanted to get out of there. And sorry, we didn't have enough room to take you home. But uh, something, but no, nothing. Sal, Freddie is not a friend to covet. No, no, he was. Uh, in fact, I wonder whatever became in in the Karate Kid universe. Right. What became? Oh, we'll, we'll get to that. Freddy. Uh, yeah, yeah. I want to I want to I want to see if he becomes an ace degenerate. Let's save that because essentially he disappears from yeah. that moment on as he runs away with his other friends yeah. or his real friends. He disappears until all valley. <laughs> that is funny. What yeah. the hell is he doing there? <laughs> However, there is one question I have. Could Freddie be the chicken from the Halloween dance that hits Daniel with the egg that started a near deadly sequence of events? Wow. I, I mean, I don't know. He's an instigator. He, he, the guy's in a full chicken suit. I say guy. I guess it could have been a girl. Yeah. But we don't know. But I thought, you know what? There's that moment. He opens the shower and he hits him with the egg. So. That, that is but, fantastic fan speculation. Did you yeah. think of that yourself? I, I sure did. That's pretty cool. And I'm not a yeah. conspiracy theorist. I mean, that's just a reach, but it's like, I, you know, if I ever found out one day, like, oh yeah, that was Israel. And I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's really cool. And Hey, you know what? I think we should start the urban legend. <laughs> let's do it. Let's, 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 let's initiate that. Let's Freddie was in the chicken costume yeah. at the dance. As far as I know. So, Let's cut all the way to All Valley. All right. Wow. Now we see Freddie's friends cheering after Daniel scores his first point at the tournament. And then right after that is when Ali says, you're the best. And then kicks off the great song and the montage ensues. But no, Freddie, it's those other guys. They're wow. there and they're rooting for Daniel. Wow. Then the montage begins and it's a great montage. You know, sometimes you just have to watch the montage because that sure. is incredible. And who's sings the song? That's uh, Joe Esposito. Best. You're the best. Right. Because I, I say you're the best around, but you say it's not officially yeah, around. No, no. What's his nickname? You're the best. Joe Bean Esposito. Yes. Very good. So Freddie does pop up during the montage to join his friends to see his other friend, Daniel fight so all of a sudden he's there in the stands wow what an interesting choice for the right? producers and director well, to they, make. they need people on those scenes so that makes sure. sense to me and may, maybe there was some stuff cut out so but and we should probably yeah. talk about the friendship more before i rush all sure. the way to the end you yeah. know maybe there was more of a build up there after malibu we're gonna build this friendship more but wait a second we're really getting him and ali together it's almost yeah. like he hands the baton off to ali yeah. Like we're going to be friends. These are my other friends. And then, oh, you can't fight. Like I thought you could that first time I saw you when you were doing yeah. karate. So I'm going to hand the baton to Ali and it's Ali and Daniel start their romance. Yeah. And Freddie just takes a back seat. But I wonder if there was more there, you know, because he's a good actor. Yeah. He really embodies that scene. He does. Unlike Daniel, Ralph Macchio, who was 22 at the time, who looks like he's 12. Sure. I think. Israel's a little bit older and okay. maybe he's 22, 23, but looks a little bit more mature, right? There was that kind of, I wait a second, wait a second. You're saying that in 1984, uh, Daniel was older than, uh, Israel. Well, no, I don't know. I'm I sorry. Know. Uh, I, Ralph was older than Israel. I would say Israel looks more his age, whatever his age was. Yeah. I don't know what his age was. I mean, yeah. Ralph Macho just looks like a kid. <laughs> still, yeah, Ralph so Macho and eternity lives he's 10 an 20 anomaly years. in that. Yeah, 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 but I look yeah. at him, he's like, he did look like older brother, younger brother. To yes. Me. Yeah. Okay. So that's all I'm and saying. And he had sort of a stockier build as well. Sort of a stockier build. But yeah. anyway, there could have been more. They could have done more with it for yeah. sure, rather than leaving him with that just kind of, it was kind of cold. I mean, think about it like, okay, what if you, Sal Rodriguez, as I just yeah. mentioned earlier, yeah. you were Freddie Fernandez and yeah. you're looking at the script going, Man, you're, uh, Mr. Kamen, <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Appleton, can yeah. I, can we soften the edges a little bit? Because, you know, I leave him in Malibu yeah. and then I diss him on the soccer pitch. Oh, you know, we're going to bring you back at all Valley. You'll make it all right. <laughs> <laughs> you just, it seemed like you would want like, a, you know, an olive branch moment. 
You know. I just imagine like uh, Avildsen and came in with like cigars, like you'll be at the All Valley. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Everybody's at All Valley, kid. <laughs> you can bring your friends too. Yeah, you yeah. All you're, be, all, yeah. you're all be cheering for Daniel at the end. We're all on the same page. Don't yeah. even worry about it. <laughs> no one's going to see this thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a throwaway. Uh, the wine drop doesn't believe in this thing. It's Don't even called worry. the Karate Kid. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile. Yeah. All that right. So, <laughs> all right. So, uh, hang on. D -d -d let's get back on point here. All right. So, Sal, I would have assumed that Freddie would have left All Valley after Daniel got injured. You know, there's a long delay. Yeah. You know, they think he's not. You know, Daniel LaRusso is going to fight. There's a yeah. long delay. Typical LA patron show up late leave early yeah yeah yeah. He already showed up late so i expected freddie to be gone so i was scanning you know the crowd but he stayed wow and freddie is seen cheering and screaming when daniel goes up to nothing against johnny in the finals because he's like right out of frame you can see him and they cut to him a lot yeah and so he goes on to boo when johnny re-injures daniel and makes a rally oh wow yeah. Did you analyze so, the, the, the whole movie today or what? Yes, I watched it in slow motion. Because wow. I just watched the only scenes I watched was uh, uh, the beginning where they meet at the South Seas, yep. then at the beach, then on the soccer field, and then at the end of the All Valley. Okay. Just those four scenes. Yeah, that's it. That's Is it. that Are those the only four scenes that Freddie's yeah. in? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, you analyzed them even more than I did. So then I even scanned scenes to see if he was in other scenes. Like, wow. Just just in case. It's not like a, is there like a facial recognition software? It's like <laughs> totally fast forward, fast forward. Stop. Wait, there he he's is. an extra here in this scene. I saw him. So then finally, just after Daniel lands the crane kick heard around the world. Oh, yeah. Freddie and friends rush the mat, which you probably saw. Yeah. To celebrate in Daniel's victory and sal i'm here to tell you and you saw it today so you know it was indeed freddie and his friends that hoisted daniel in the air oh my as he god. raises the trophy high for all to see oh my god this is this is so meta because i've never yeah i never thought about who is literally lifting him like i just figured it was anonymous bystanders right. an anonymous audience that's yeah, those Miyagi. guys Miyagi stayed off on the side. Allie's there rushing, but she's not going to pipe pick him up. Daniel, oh. I mean, Johnny hands him the trophy, but he doesn't lift him up. Hang on. It's, yep. You're all right, LaRusso. You're all right, LaRusso. <laughs> yeah, that's happening. And Freddie's like, one of Freddie's friends is like shaking his hand. The same guy's like, where'd you find this guy? <laughs> He'll be all right. He's like shaking Daniel's hand like, hey, oh man, you know, go. let's pick you up. You're the champ. Wow. So, yeah, this is it. He got uh, his respect from these guys of which he lost in Malibu. Wow. I, so are we, I, I'm wondering what's going on in, in, in Daniel, Daniel LaRusso, the Daniel LaRusso yes, character. Yeah, let's talk Do, about Daniel. Does he think these guys are his friends? Well, he's had some adventures since he met them and they kind of never talked again that we saw after the soccer field and he fell in love with someone. So maybe he's been preoccupied So. Wow. He's also had to endure a lot of Cobra Kai hazing and bullying, karate training, and working for Mr. Miyagi, which is not too easy. Well, so, I guess if, if you compare uh, being harassed by Cobra Kai. Yeah. So those yeah. are your enemies. What's being guess, dissed by Freddy? Yeah, exactly. That, that pales in comparison. So Freddy and his friends are, for all intents and purposes, Daniel's group of friends. Group of friends. Yeah. That Who's your friends? Sad. Well, I have Mr. Miyaki. I have Allie. Johnny's kind of cool now. And Bobby apologized. I got Freddie. Oh friend. my God. Wow. So, so Freddie Fernandez, his best friend, Daniel LaRusso, is the 1984 All Valley Karate Champion. Freddie's yeah. never been prouder. No, no. I know that guy. I know that guy. You <laughs> know what? My buddy. I took him to the beach because of me. He met Allie. Yeah. I put if it weren't for me, motion. he wouldn't have met, met her. That's what kind of friend he is. This is the kind of friend that you keep close like an enemy <laughs> because hey, you never know what hey, he's hey. capable of. Listen, if it weren't for me, you wouldn't have been arrested and you wouldn't have met your wife who was a corrections officer. You know, have you thought about that? Yeah. You know, there are all these ways to spin things, you know, that's, totally. that's one of them. So back to an earlier question. 
do you foresee any way, shape or form <laughs> Freddie popping up on Cobra Kai? Okay. And all so, honesty, honest answer. Okay. The honest answer is no, but, <laughs> but like when we delivered speculation, could about, be a reference, could be a reference. Well, there you go. About Jessica, right? Yeah. Yeah. We said, maybe just a little tip of the hat. Like you said, maybe yeah. you, maybe you see her on Facebook, you get a chuckle. There she is. Maybe something similar with Freddie. Maybe. How about this? Like they're passing by uh, a strip mall and there's a little store of Freddie's t-shirts or something, you know, oh, just yeah. something. So, you know, he's acknowledged and he's alive. I think they had their chance. So when they went to South Sea's apartment with Johnny and Daniel and Cobra Kai, and they could have bumped into Freddie there, like he's cleaning the pool or something. Wow. Still living in apartment seventeen. Okay, I was going to say he took over as the handyman. He took over the Miyagi position. No, he's just South still East. there. He's just still living there. Oh no! Wait a second. Didn't they tear down the apartment? Oh, but right. No, they were remodeling. They were remodeling. Okay, so the apartment because they went there. back there. They went back there, and you and I both know it's still there. Yes, 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 yes. It is there, and it was never meant to be torn down. They were doing that construction. They were remodeling. Yeah, you're right. That'd be funny. You go back to the South Seas, and Freddie is still there, and the pool is still down to only you know one foot of water at the bottom. Yeah, well, they did have water in there that one episode, so that was working. And the Wait, water full, was... full water. Yeah, I believe that episode. They kind of you know stood there and overlooked the pool and had a quick exchange. And it oh, was, with a, and, a, a, a yeah, Daniel more in modern Johnny. times. In modern yes, times. yes, yes. Okay. No, not okay. then. It wasn't a working pool. So, yeah, that's what I got. I was always fascinated by this wow. actor, his filmography, and yeah. just his character arc. Yes, yes, yes. You yes. know, so he was in the beginning of the movie, and he was there to hoist him up at the end. Wow, interesting, interesting choices. Yeah, uh, I got to hand it. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, Israel uh, Warby, fantastic. Resume yes. credits. Yeah, really. I mean that seriously. Really great. Uh, and, and yeah, a very interesting choice by, by Cayman and Avildsen to have the character arc of Freddy. Yeah. What if we see in, 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 in season four, Freddy does appear and he's actually Miguel's dad. We find out mm. Freddy could be Miguel's dad. Although they said Miguel's dad's a bad man. <laughs> I don't think Freddie is going to be that guy. I'm, just, I'm saying stupid things now. I think <laughs> Freddie works at <laughs> golf and stuff and lives at South Sea. That's what I think. I, his, I love this. I don't I think this. his world moved very far. You, like, you, you know, you said this episode would be fun and you were absolutely right. It, <laughs> I, I, this was a good time. As <laughs> I researched it, I was laughing. So I knew we were in for a, a good time. So that's all I got covering Freddie and the Daniel LaRusso's first friend, Freddie Fernandez episode. Mm. But I do have something else to share. Oh, what? And this will go out for our YouTube livers because yes. we are live on YouTube. And of course, we release our episodes, the podcast episode a few days later because we, you know, we can edit, shorten, sure. tighten, but this is going sure. live. So we have two versions of our show now. Yeah. The YouTube yeah. live version goes live and it's there. If you miss it live, it's there. You, if you want to get ahead of us or, or not ahead of us, but that'd be interesting, but be caught up with us. You can always go there and listen and watch the show, or you can wait and, you know, get your episode delivered on whatever format you desire. But tonight we are actually doing another episode shorter, tighter, yeah. Yeah. but if you want to stick around when we wrap up and we do our send off, as soon as we do that, like 10 minutes later, come back. We are going to do another one, probably a wardrobe change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to wear it. Yeah. Although I do like my bowling shirt. Love the bowling shirt. I, I like, you know, because swingers. Uh, Big Lebowski and swingers. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I love this thing. It is old yeah. and I love it. And I really would like to wear it in the next video. Can I can't wear it in the next video. Oh, if you want to, we, we don't have to do one. It's your op. It's wardrobe changing is optional. I, if you have a make and bacon shirt, that would go well. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll wear the bowling Normal. shirt. Normal. I'll wear the bowling shirt next week. Okay. So yeah, that's all I got. We can wrap up and then we'll come back. Yeah. So, hey, come back in what about, we're, we'll come back about 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. We're yeah, going to come exactly. back and go live again. Yeah. Two times. And, oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah a double feature. Be, yeah, yeah. Because we, we got a lot of interesting things happening with Let's Talk Cobra Kai and Just Curious Media. Things are brewing. Things are stirring up. Yeah. A lot of momentum happening now as we go into season four of, of Cobra Kai and a lot of exciting things to share with our fans and listeners. Absolutely. And I didn't mean to brush over this earlier, but just in case you thought you heard me say it, yeah, I did move to the East Coast. I am in New yeah. England. We haven't it's, talked about it. Now really. we haven't talked about it. And yeah, you yeah, are yeah. still in Los Angeles. Yes, yes. And yes. we have not even seen each other face to face in person yeah. since 2019. 
Yeah. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Well, because I see but we you talk so much. all the time. I know we talk. <laughs> I talk to you more than more than I talk to my own girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> we we share more words uh, per minute. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you are on the East Coast. I am on the West Coast. Yeah. Uh, we got this whole nation on lockdown. We do. But yeah. since we record locally, we do this you know, a little technical thing for people. The YouTube is its own thing. It, it, video, audio, it's going out there. But we also, Sal and I have the same exact setup now. We didn't before, and that's fine, but now it matches identically. Yeah. And we record locally. And then I take these high-res files, download Sal in the cloud, and then I edit them. So it does sound like we're in a studio side by side. Uh, Jason, And we look side away, by side. Are you giving away our trade secrets is what you're doing? Trade secrets. But I think uh, any true audio aficionado would do the same. You know, you would think so. I've listened to a number of podcasts to think that uh, localized recording is a foreign concept. I think That's too much trouble for some, but uh, not us. No, no. So that's it. Let's do our outro and then we'll come back. So thank you so much for listening. And please be sure to subscribe to Let's Talk Cobra Kai wherever you get your podcast. You can also really help us by giving the show a five-star rating on Apple Podcast. And for all you listeners that enjoy sharing your thoughts, you can leave us a review on Apple Podcasts, send us a direct message, or post a comment on our social media, which is at Let's Talk Cobra Kai, as well as at Just Curious Media. If you're a dedicated listener of Let's Talk Cobra Kai, consider supporting the show on Patreon. This greatly benefits the show on many fronts and offers you exclusive access and much more. We also highly recommend checking out our other podcast and visiting JustCuriousMedia.com. No mercy.